any other issues except this. But even the conservative Wall Street Journal editorial page said the called on the president to disavow Roy Moore. Right. But the press is essentially casting them as this as Trump doesn't believe the women, the nine different women, as opposed to it's politics and he wants the Republican to win. Well, I think it's both for Donald yeah. Trump because he doesn't believe the 16 women who have said that he sexually harassed them, and he doesn't believe the nine who are saying about Roy Moore. And voters in Alabama don't either. The Washington Post poll showed 71 percent of Republican voters in Alabama don't believe the charges, and 63 percent of Trump voters in Alabama didn't believe the charges against him. You know, with the issues with media reporting, and when you find holes in a story, people are just looking for their hook. They're looking for the moment that they can say the whole thing is made up because there was an added date, right? With Beverly Young Nelson. She added the date and the location. So the whole thing is a well, lie. Roe Moore is innocent. Let's talk about that. So Beverly Young Nelson is uh, one of the nine accusers. She's the one who's uh, represented by Gloria Allred. Mm -hmm. Alleged that in this signing of her high school yearbook, which showed she had some mm -hmm. relationship with Roy Moore at least, she had added the date and the place. And that does muddy the waters. Is it a big deal? I don't think it's that big a deal. I also think this whole thing about, about uh, when did the president endorse Roy Moore? The minute the primary was over, he said Roy Moore was going to make a great senator. But he no, the first statement was, uh, if these allegations are yes, true, Judge Moore should yes, step aside. But Written before statement. the allegations, yeah. he had already talked about Roy Moore Got being it. great. In other words, he made it very clear he was going to endorse whoever won the primary. Just let me mention that on this Beverly Young Nelson business, mm -hmm. Fox News' website made a significant error uh, by posting this. Roy Moore accuser admits she forged part of yearbook inscription attributed to Alabama Senate candidate. And that was corrected with an editor's note. Um, but you're right that, you know, people seize on it. But at the same time, CNN had an interview with a friend of Lee Kaufman. She's the one who says that she was sexually accosted by Roma when she was 14. Friend who told her at the time seemed like a very credible interview. And so the question is what's fair and what's not fair here for journalists trying to sort through this. Also, I mean, part of the definition of forgery is altering a legitimate document and presenting it as original. And I, you know, I did watch her statement where she read 